What's going on guys? Today we're getting another fish tank and some more monster fish and I'm going to try to hand feed this arowana. Alright guys, here he comes. There he is. Yeah. Alright, as you can see we got some bags in the 60 gallon. We got more grow out fish and we're making some big changes to this whole section right here. So in here we already have the silver arowana and then back in that bush there is a red tailed tiger shovel nose hybrid. And we went and got a peacock bass and a regular red tail, a spotted gar, and a regular tiger shovel nose catfish. We actually went out and got a 55 gallon to put all the African cichlids in. We're going to put that on one side of that wall and slide the 60 down to the other side. And we're going to put toast the flower horn right in the middle. Uh, right now we're actually going to a thrift store to see if we can't find something to put the 55 gallon on. We're going to try to make it the same height as the 60 so everything's uniform. So we're going to be moving this 60 gallon right here over to this corner and that into the other room. We're going to be putting this 50 on this side and toast is going to go right in the middle here. So we got the 20 gallon over here draining into this bucket. We're going to use this water to put into the new 30 that's in here. We got to see the gar eat. We got a spot of gar in here as well. He's eating. It's fantastic. And just draining this into the 50 gallon so we can push over the 60 gallon. We're trying to put some pre-cycled water into all of the new tanks getting set up, so that's why we're doing it this way. And plus it's the easiest to move, because the 60 has to go down into the other corner. Got everything all set up. Want to make it a little suspenseful for you guys, so we're going to go get toast before I show you what it looks like. And we'll show you guys the finished product. Let's go get toast. Alright, so we got a 30 gallon tote here. We're going to get most of this water into this tote. I already put some new clean water in there so it's like getting a water change and then we're going to get toast here into the bucket and we're going to bring them back and set them between those two tanks. And see you guys when we get there, I guess. Alright, so we're back at the house. All three tanks are all set up. Now you guys get to check it out. Alright guys, here it is. The new setup in the living room. We got three tanks going. Got this 55 here. Got toast in the middle. We're going to start with the 55. We definitely are going to be putting substrate in this soon. It just contains the African cichlids that were in the 60 gallon with the arowana and the catfish and the gar. And it's coming along nice. Got two filters on it. Got a canister in and over the back. Toast tank, the same as always. Bubble stones, heater. Look at this guy, man. Crazy. He's getting big, nice and colorful. Got him on that new diet. And over here, we got the 60 with the monster grow outs. We got the silver arowana up here. He's kind of cool. I'm excited to see him in the future. He has a lot of yellow tints to him, which is kind of exciting for me. We got this Florida gar, or a spotted gar, actually. And then down here, we got a red tailed catfish. He's going to get huge quick. I'm excited for him. This is my favorite fish in the tank right now. Oh, yeah, he's eating flakes. <laughs> and here, we got the regular tiger shovel nose catfish. He's the biggest catfish in the tank right now. Caught him on a yawn earlier. I'm so mad I didn't get him on video doing it. And here we have the laziest fish I have ever seen in my life. It's a tiger shovel nose red tail hybrid. And it literally just lays there. Come on, focus. We also got the peacock bass. We plan on getting a couple of more to grow out. And there's also a few African cichlids that we couldn't seem to catch. So let me know in the comments what you think about this new setup here. And stay tuned for next week because we got two surprises for you. Till next time, guys. Peace.